Welcome back. In front of me is the NVIDIA Jetson Nano Developer Kit. This is one of the most anticipated product from NVIDIA, especially for the makers and the hackers. I have got this at a price point of 8,899 in India, whereas in other places it's just 99 US dollar. Let us not waste any more time and start with the unboxing of this product. Let us look around the box. I have already cut the seal and so let's open it up. The first thing we have is some documentation. Next we have the development kit sealed in an ESD safe package. There is nothing else in the box. Let us look into the documentation. So we have a quick start guide with nice infographics and some things in Chinese that I don't understand. So next thing we have the folded cardboard stand to keep the development kit. I will unfold it and keep it ready. Let us cut open the main product. Here is the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. Everything is so premium black. The black solder mask gives a premium look to the product. I think most of the NVIDIA product uses a black solder mask. Let us have a look around the board. This has a quad core ARM Cortex A57 CPU running at a 1.43 GHz CPU clock. Along with the CPU, we have a dedicated 128 core Maxwell NVIDIA GPU, which is running at a frequency of 921 megahertz the gpu delivers 472 gigaflops of computational power which is the backbone of this device along with this we have a 4 gb low power ddr4 25.6 gigabyte per second throughput ram it don't have a storage device like a raspberry pi you have to add your own micro SD card. This one has an encoding capability of 1 4K 30 FPS video or 2 Full HD 60 FPS or 4 Full HD 30 FPS video. It also has a decoder which can decode 1 4K video at 60 FPS, 2 4K video at 30 FPS, 4 Full HD at 60 fps and 8 full hd at 30 fps it also has a 12 lane mipi csi 2 camera interface which has a throughput of 1.5 gigabit per lane which gives it a total of 18 gigabit per second it has 2 hdmi 2.0 or display port connection as well as it has a m.2 key slot for expansion which also has a pcie gen 2 
port available for any PCI based device to be connected. Front side of the board we have all the major connectors. We have a barrel power connector for 4 amps of power at 5 volts. We have HDMI and display port. We have 4 USB 3.0. We have a gigabit ethernet port and a micro USB for 2 amps at 5 volt power. Right side we have the 40 pin GPIO which is very similar to the Raspberry Pi GPIO. At the right corner we have a power over ethernet connector. We also have a PWM fan connector for active cooling. Moving to the other side we have the we also have a jumper to select the power either from barrel connector or the micro USB connector. If connected the power is selected from the barrel connector. We have a VPCSI 2 connector where we can connect any Raspberry Pi's camera or the button connectors similar to a standard motherboard front panel connectors which is a big advantage for safe shutdown and power. We also have a serial communication port which can be used for debug purpose. Moving to the other side, we have the Jetson Nano system on module under which we can see the micro SD port where we have to connect a minimum of 16 GB of micro SD card under which you can see the M.2 slot where we can connect the Intel Wi-Fi card or any expansion card which are supported in M.2 Nvidia did add some additional protection for the USB before shipping the product out. I think they have forgot it to add it in their PCB design. But I think they will fix this problem in the next version of the product. So let's start with the first time boot. I will be using the OnePlus 6 charger which can deliver 5 volts 4 amps of power. I will be also using a Logitech wireless combo for mouse and keyboard. I have already flashed the SD card with the OS. Let us connect everything and power on the board. We have the NVIDIA logo as the splash screen. It is now booting up. Next we have the general license agreement and the first time setup which is very general for the Ubuntu system. Let, let us look into the system monitor and the system information.
for all the benchmark results, please visit the webpage. Link is in the description. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.